What's up guys? Welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we're at the home place in Warrior, Alabama. We're going to be filming this awesome Cavalier home that you see right here in front of us. Don't mind all the blocks and stuff on the ground. They just sold a home behind me and it was moved out. They haven't had time to move everything yet. I told them y'all wouldn't mind as long as we got to see an awesome home. And I think y'all are going to really like this one. The floor plan is a little bit different for a double wide and the price point is right where y'all will like it. So as you walk in, you're gonna notice that this one's not fully set up. So you're gonna see that there's gonna be some missing trim and the floor's not put all the way together yet. And that's because these things are just still selling so fast that they can't keep them on the lot. This home, again, is a Cavalier model and it is called the Maverick. It is a very open floor plan that you can see here. Your bedrooms are directly off of the living space, which allows for the home to have a smaller footprint, but a larger feel. Big island that you see in the kitchen there. We're gonna make our way over there in just a second. And the dining room's on the other side of the kitchen. Lots of can lights in that kitchen. I don't know if y'all notice that. Two large windows right there behind the couch. And I will give you guys the footprint of this home here in just a second, if you didn't see it on the pop-up of the floor plan here just a second ago. This home does have white cabinets that does allow the wood grain to be seen. So it's almost like a stain, even though you can't see the actual natural wood color. It has a beautiful marble countertop, black frigid air appliances, a double basin sink with a window right above it that does open. Let's take a look inside of this cabinet here to give you an idea of the depth. Plenty deep enough for your dishes. Got a nice size cabinet over here to this side for pots and pans, right next to the dishwasher. Underneath the sink is always deep and easy access to the plumbing. It does have the pull down head. I know that's a big deal to a lot of folks. These faucets are not cheap anymore, guys. Try to go buy one at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're like two to 300 bucks now. It's absolutely insane. Not something you wanna have to upgrade if you just bought a home. So knowing that it's already here, man, it's a big cabinet down there. Let's turn around and look. You see, you got a spot right here that's kind of indented. That's because you can actually put two bar stools there if you wanted to. So you could eat in here for breakfast or dinner. And you're close enough to the living room, depending on which wall you put the TV on, you could probably even watch the TV if you had it along this wall over here. Three built-in shelves right there to the side of it. They have books on them. I know most folks, though, would probably have something to do with their kitchen in there. Those cabinets are deep as well. Come over here to this side. You see you got indentation on this side as well. So, really, you could put two bar stools on either side of this counter, which would be a grand total of four. You can see the electrical outlet on the end of the island here. Turn around and look. Directly above the stove is the Frigidaire microwave. You do have cabinets above it as well. You can see where your vent goes out through to the roof. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My allergies have been getting the best of me. I'm actually really liking the layout of this kitchen, though. It's really nice. The countertop down here is not real marble. However, it does look like it is. Nice big drawers on the right side of the stove here for your silverware. Now let's take a look at the dining room. You have five large windows surrounding the dining room and an exterior door to the side. If you make the turn on around though, this right here is going to be your laundry room. And you can tell they're still sitting up in here as mentioned beforehand. If you open this door right here, it's just access to your heat and air return. Go ahead and turn around and make our way towards the bedrooms. And then we'll come back and talk about the price. You may have already seen it on the refrigerator when we went by. If you did, let us know in the comments below what you think about the price point so far. Worth mentioning is the ceilings are textured. The sheetrock is finished in this home. The heating and air conditioning is in the floor. We'll go ahead and check all those off before I forget. 
It does have an Ecobee thermostat, which is smart home compatible. You can attach that to your, download the app and put it on your smartphone where you can control your thermostat from your phone without even getting up from your couch or your love seat or wherever you may be lounging. Now, what we just walked into here is the master bedroom. We're doing things a little bit out of order today. This is a decent size master bedroom. It's definitely not the biggest you've ever seen, but keep again, keep in mind again, the price point of this home is just phenomenal. So they did make some of the rooms a little bit smaller. Enough room for a king size bed. <clears throat> and you've got a big walk-in closet right here to the side. The little panel that you see to the right is going to be for your hot water heater. We'll turn around and give you a little bit of a show of the size of the room. And let's look at the master bathroom now. You do have enough room for a double vanity sink, a separate shower and tub. You have cabinets on this side, which would be perfect for your towels. Two big mirrors over top of the sink here. A window that does open over top of the very large soaking tub. I love these tubs that have the side mount over here for your shower head or your, uh, your tub faucet. And you got your two places right here for your arms so your arms could actually be submerged. Your toilet is not in a separate water closet, if you will, but there's still some privacy to it, especially if somebody's in the shower. This is a nice, big, dark surrounded shower. The surroundings of it are like a, a faint bronze color. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily black, but they match the bronze or the faded copper of the shower head and handle. And it does have a bench in there for those of you that like to shave your legs. We're gonna make our way out and go check out the first guest bedroom, which is right here on the side of the living room. And look at here, this is a good size room. Like I said, they've done a really good job utilizing the space in these homes now. And uh, I actually like the way that this home's laid out. Most of the time in mobile homes, especially double wise, they're notorious for having these really long hallways. And it just doesn't give you that stick built feel. This home, does not have hardly any hallways. <laughs> nice big room, good size closet. There are wire racks within the closet. However, that is a very easy fix by jumping on Amazon. For 50 bucks, you can have a nice wood shelf in there. Let's go ahead and go to the next and our final bedroom. And there again, this is about the same size as the bedroom that we were just in. And this is a very nice size room as well. Nice big window over there to the side. I'm gonna get over here to the corner, try to give you guys a little bit of an idea of the size of the room. This bedroom and the one before it, without a doubt, there's plenty of room for full or queen size beds, as well as all of the furniture that would go along with it. About the same size closet in both rooms as well. So if you've got multiple kids, they wouldn't be fighting over who gets the bigger room too. Might solve an argument, right? Let's go over here and talk about the price. One of the things that are stand out about this home that I didn't mention as well is that these walls are two by six exterior walls. And that's a big deal. That just is gonna make this home that much more sturdy. A lot of times people don't think about that. Your exterior walls being two by fours, it's just that much thinner. And there again, it just does not hold up over time. So again, the make is a Cavalier. The model is a Maverick. It is 28 by 52. And the price is $119,995. So for less than $120,000, this is a lot of home, guys. If you're interested in this home, there again, we do not work for the dealer. But look down in the video description below. And we will have all the details for you to be able to contact the home place here in Pinson, Alabama. If you will, follow us right up here, though, to our next home tour. Let's go check that home out right now.